In every discovery, there is trial and there is error. There is experimentation and there is failure. And sometimes we're just plain wrong. Even the best discoveries come from an idea that's really spaced out. Anyone else remember all those sci-fi flicks that showed people getting sucked out of their rockets? or on a planet with no atmosphere, they suddenly blow up like a huge balloon. Like in Total Recall, Arnold expanded like a bubble. Ew. Actually, the human body is way more durable than Hollywood gives you credit. You're not gonna find yourself blowing up into the size of a beluga or exploding into thousands of little pieces of human sushi. No human fireworks? Well, ending up in space without proper protection still ain't pretty. You would suffocate under all the pressure. Imagine thousands of pounds of pressure squeezing your organs externally while a vacuum is sealing your lungs. I guess the old lack of pressure puts a lot of stress on the human body. That's why astronauts wear spacesuits and helmets, to keep them at constant pressure. All right, let's say you're outside the ship. Could you survive if your protective helmet just like popped right off into space? For a very little while, you could. The first effect you feel is the gases in your lungs and digestive system begin to swell due to the lack of external pressure. Exhaling gives you a few extra seconds, but you pass out after 15 seconds because in the absence of air pressure, the gas exchange in the lungs works backwards, dumping oxygen out of the blood, a kind of oxygen starvation. That's why the astronaut would pass out. Exactly. But even at 90 seconds, it's possible to revive someone. In the mid-60s, NASA had a test subject in the controlled vacuum atmosphere and his suit malfunctioned. The subject lost consciousness, but the scientists were quickly able to normalize the pressure and the astronaut was revived completely. At around two minutes, it would have been too late. He said the last thing that he felt was the water boiling off of his tongue. Whoa, so we'd boil? I thought space was cold. I know this one. Because space is very much a vacuum, the temperature isn't even relevant. All liquids boil to gas not because of the hot temperatures, but because of the lack of pressure. This is called the critical point, which is the point at which the liquid state of matter ceases to exist. This is where the explosion expansion theory that Hollywood loves so much comes from. The idea was that since the liquid becomes gas, your body would expand and explode. It's not what happens. Most of the gas is excreted or simply contained in the body structure. You'd pass out before a significant amount of liquid was lost, and even then, you won't explode because the human body is too resilient. But you gotta have your space buddy to grab you and hurl you back into the ship. Two minutes is not very long, so it would need to be around 90 seconds for you to make a full recovery. If I had to go out like that, I'd rather explode. Let's leave that to the movies. It's way more fun, and they have union guys who can clean up the mess. Plus, actors generally get up and walk away after filming. Unless there's a lot of spacey actors floating up there somewhere. And that's what we call... Spaced Out!